Hi guys, how are you? Today we're going to go through my eyeshadow palettes and see what we got. So let's dive in. The first one is the LA Girl Eyeshadow Collection in Ultra. This is going to be a declutter video. Um, as you can see, this is new to me. I've usually this. I've used this shade and that's about it so I will be keeping this I got this last summer so I've had it less than a year along that same lines is the nudes palette as well I've used one shade um I did use a brush in this one though the last one I did not so that is that palette so I will be keeping that one the next one is the wet and wild and I don't plan on decluttering a lot of these these are the not your basic peach um, I like this, that, that shade I really like. I've tried this one once or twice. I'm not a big blue person, but I will be keeping that. Um, it's like a light blue, so it's not terrible. Uh, we have the NYX Dreamcatcher palette. I've used quite a few of these shades. I have quite a few dips. I got dip in there, dip in there, dip in there, dip in there. The only shade I really haven't used is this gray one, which now I have because I've swatched it. Um, just because it's like a matte gray and it's not the greatest. Um, I like that palette. I'll be keeping that one as well. Um, this is the Ellie Girl Wanderlust eyeshadow palette. Uh, I keep it in this box. Uh oh, something might happen to this because this was clean. Yeah, it looks like that shade shattered, so I'm going to have to repress that shade. But it's a very pretty color palette. It's got quite a bit of colors in it. I haven't used it yet, but that is new this summer as well, so I'll have to repress that. I'll leave that out so I can repress it. This is the LA Color and Lollipop. This is like five or six years old. I'm literally just going to use this shade and this shade and then the palette's going. It's very powdery. It doesn't leave very good pigmentations, but I'm so close to using those shades that I wanted to use them up. This is CoverGirl Peach Punch. I have yet to use this, but I really like this shade and that shade, so that's why I got it. So this is brand new within the last week. The LA Girl, the nudist eyeshadow palette. This is one of my favorite ones. I use this one all the time. It's a very basic nudes palette. I have completely used up this shade right here. I've got a huge dent in this shade. This is like my crease shade. I've started using this as an all over the lid setter. I like this as a lid topper and that's as a lid topper. This I use in my outer V a lot, but this is like an everyday work palette for me. So I really enjoy that. Along with that line, I also have the Feverish eyeshadow palette, which I've used a couple times. This is probably one of my favorite color story stories out of all three. I really enjoyed this shade right here. They're really soft and silky. Let me see if I can swatch this for you. It's got like a purple hue to it, but if you hit it, it's got like a almost like red undertone so that's really pretty I like the shade next to it I like that one they're all beautiful shades I would definitely recommend this palette it was it's like eight bucks but um I got them for like two a piece because I had coupons and stuff so um definitely worth it sorry I'm wiping my hands off the next palette I have is the Ulta palette I like this palette but you really have to build it up I really like this greenish Blue, I don't know it's kind of like a silver but a blue and green at the same time so I will be keeping that I'm not a big fan of the Ulta eyeshadow formula in general I probably will declutter my other ones I have um, that's probably going to be the only one I keep the next one let's reach back here this is the NYX natural I am actually panning this in my graveyard project pan I'm trying to use these two shades up I've currently used this one up and I use this one as my crease shade, so I'm going to try to hit a pan in that by October. So that gives me five months to do that. So this is actually my everyday makeup drawer, so that's got to stay out. This is another NYX. This is a Smoky Fine. 
I barely use this because I don't use a lot of dark colors. I haven't used these three at all. This shade, this shade, and this shade I do use. Um, it's definitely worth it. I I like NYX eyeshadows, and this is pretty nice. Um, it's My Pleasure by ColourPop. This is the only ColourPop I own. I really like this shade and this shade. I have not used this shade or this shade yet. And I don't think I've used this shade either. But all the rest of them I've used, I've had this for about a year. I really enjoy it when I do a purple look. They are powdery, so you got to watch it. And this is the Hard Candy. These are the Baked eyeshadows i've had this for about five years i've really used this this you can see there's quite a bit of usage on it this gray is almost flat i used used to wear a lot of shimmery grays but i haven't reached for this palette in a while i really do enjoy it and i do want to keep it it's still good so i will keep that while we're on the hard candy kick this is the natural gorgeous i have barely touched this one and i've had this for a couple of years I really like this shade. Let me swatch it for you. And this shade, it's like a, they're both gold tones. Um, I really enjoy those shades. They're very silky. They're still good formula. So I like that one. This one I've used a ton. Um, this is the Guilty Pleasure. You see that's well loved really the purple i really like that shade i don't have a ton or any shades like that really like this shade it's like a i don't know just a glittery mauve uh peachy shade so i will continue to keep that i'm not going to be decluttering a whole ton just because you know like it's i don't have a whole ton um this is out of the ulta beauty palette as well as this this is actually brow powders and whatnot and then these are like toppers glitter toppers i barely use these i like the toppers i'm not sure if i like the brow products i am going to keep this i'll probably depot it to get some more use out of it so i'll put this over in that this is the eyeshadow palette out of that same um kit that is about two years old i am not going to be keeping this it's got some pretty colors but, like, you really have to dig into them to get them to show up. Like, that's a really pretty color, but I don't know. So, I'm going to declutter that one. That's chopping block number one. Um, these I'm going to declutter as well. As you can see, I have two of the exact same. I have used them quite a bit. But they just don't have the color payoff I want. So, they are getting dis um, decluttered. And I've had them probably about seven or eight years, so they're getting quite old. Um, this is another Alta Beauty I have. I really like um, the highlight, and the blush isn't bad, but um, I don't like anything else in here, and I'm not going to keep it for that. The eyeshadows suck, so that's going to go bye-bye. I just haven't had any luck with Alta eyeshadows, so I don't know if their singles are any better. But this is the Maybelline Soda Pop. I got this last summer. I really, really enjoy this palette. It's the first Maybelline palette I've had. And they're silky soft, especially this shade. This is one of my favorite shades. Um, it's like a burnt orangish red dual chrome. And I really like this shade up here too. This shade right here. It's a just a champagne color. But they're really nice, they're creamy, they're easy to blend. I enjoy them a lot. So I will be keeping that. Going with my Morphe palette. This is the Bronze Babe 9B. It's my first Malt and only Morphe palette. I like them, but they are super powdery. I really enjoy this. You can see I have pretty good dips in them, but they are pretty big pans, so I don't have any pans showing yet. But I will be keeping that. Oh, let's bring her out just a little bit more. This is the Tartlet and Bloom by Tarte. I've gotten quite a bit of use out of this. I just got this, not last year, year before, at Alta 21 Days of Beauty. Half off. I've got a huge dip in that one. That's one of my favorite shades. I use that as a transition shade. Outer corner, lid, 
Um, they've all been used with the exception of maybe the black. But yeah, that looks like it's been used too. So I will continue to use that. It's a good everyday palette. This is the LA Color Smoky. I will not be keeping this. I just don't do blue eyeshadows. And I've had it a while. So I'm just going to declutter that one. Same with this LA Colors. They're just not pigmented. Um, I think it was in a holiday gift set. So this is the almost nude. So I'm getting rid of that too. Alright, this is empty. Let's bring it out. Alright. We've got this palette. I think I got this off from Wish. I really do enjoy this palette. It has quite a few neutrals. The pan sizes aren't big. Lots of selection. I will enjoy keeping this. I don't reach for it all too often, but... Um, this is the NYX Madrid palette, and I also have the NYX Los Angeles. They come with a lip gloss in the hole. That's what the hole is for, is the lip gloss. Or lip... Um, this one... I actually depotted this one and the shade that was here and put combined them into this one. Um, I think I'm just going to depot these because the packaging is bulky. I don't like it. And I'm not a fan of all the shades, so I'll probably just depot this. And then this one, uh, I only really like this shade that's left and maybe the brown. The rest of them can go, so I'll probably depot those and declutter the rest. I also have the Clay Play from Tarte. This is newer this summer to me. This is the original one, but it is new to me. I have used almost all the shades, so except for maybe that one and that one, or that one. But I like it. I like um, Tarte eyeshadows. They're nice, so I'll keep that. This one is new to me this last winter. Last. It's the LA Girl Pro Masters eyeshadow palette. This is their mauve edition. I really like this. I like the texture of it. However, it is quite a bit of fallout. But the eyeshadows are very pigmented. They're very pretty. Um, that's one of my favorite shades. I also really like this pink shade up here in the corner. That one. That's what this one looks like. It's really pretty. I might play with this tomorrow. Right now I have the, um, which one did I put on my eyes today? Oh, I just used some of my singles today. So I'll be keeping this, even though it's a bigger palette. Don't drop. Then the last one I have in my palette is Beauty Gems. I got this off from Wish as well, I think. And I like this palette. It's got quite a bit going on. Um, I haven't used it a whole ton. It is newer. Last Christmas. Um, I want to try out these blushes and the highlights. Um, they're really pretty. Um, they're not super pigmented. I like this shade right here. So I just want to play around with it a little bit more. They, they, they have good quality. But like I said, I haven't had this for terribly long, so I'm going to keep this. And actually, I didn't get this at um, Wish. I got this at Ulta for, ooh, and I just dig a hole in that at um, one of their holiday um, things. So that is what I'm keeping. So I'm keeping one, two, three... Or put this back in five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23. Those I'm keeping out because I got to repress. And then I'm going to be decluttering these two except for a couple shades. So I'm only keeping 23, decluttering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm decluttering these eight all together. So five, six there, and two here, other than a couple shades out of this. I think that's pretty good. Um, 
I definitely think I have a better organized drawer. And that's actually 24, not 23. So 24 kept and eight decluttered out of 32. That's not bad. That is actually one quarter. So that's not too bad. But I hope y'all enjoyed this declutter and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.